Hi, I'm Chris. And Kathy. And today we're going to do a, a cook our bass that we just caught um, underground in Birch Park. But before we can get that far, uh, we got to have a couple of things that we're going to stuff the fish with. We have some leeks, wild leeks that uh, we harvested in the spring and they're in the freezer. Uh, I'm going to harvest some of this comb tooth here. It's a, a, another, just another beautiful log. Uh, that we found. Uh, it has a nice earthy nutty flavor to it. A little bit of a garlic taste and so we think it would go really good with the leeks and we're just gonna put some of this right into the cavity of the bass uh, and then when we're done with this we got to go get some birch bark and I will show you how to harvest that. Oh my gosh. That thing weighs over a pound itself. It wow. Seems like. That is awesome. I'll just grab a couple more. All right. So let's go find ourselves some birch bark. All right. Well, I got my bark. And I got it cut down to size for my bass. is about a 17-18 uh, inch bass. And I got his cavity cleaned out. I'm going to put some leeks in there that we had harvested in the spring and kept in the freezer. I got some, uh, about a, I got about a half a cup of wild rice here that's about half cooked. It should finish cooking in the in the fire here. And I got my comb tooth. I'll just make sure that it's cleaned off. Okay. Now we're gonna wrap the bark up. Yeah, first. I'm going to put my, i got some moss that I'm going to put on both ends to keep the dirt from getting in there. And it'll create a little steam too for the fish to cook in. Okay, I got my artificial sinew that we do a lot of crafts with. If this was uh, completely doing it in the Native American style, we'd be using black spruce roots. But uh, this will... This will get us through. And I don't think it should burn. It should be alright. Alright, so we got it wrapped up in the bark. I got my moss on both ends to keep the dirt out. Let's head over by fire. All right, now we're at the fire. I'm gonna just take this here log and roll it down into the hole. And I'm gonna cover it up with a little bit of dirt. This is wet sand, so I'm not too worried about my birch bark starting on fire. I'm gonna cover it up with about, a, about an inch. There we go. I'm gonna put my fish in. And I'm going to cover that up. Until I get about an inch covering that. Yeah, about, a, about an inch and a half. So I'm going to take a little bit of that out. All right, now I'll scrape the rest of this over into it and I'll keep the fire going for the next two to three hours. And I'm sure you're all wondering how long is this going to take and exactly three hours from now I will take this out and see what happens. All right. 
So I'm going to keep this fire going and uh, we'll come back in exactly three hours and we'll uncover it and we'll see how it turns out. Alrighty, it's been a little bit more than three hours. I've got my fire going. We'll see, uh, we'll dig her out of here and see what, what happens. The bark is still intact. You can hear it's starting to snap. Okay, here we go. I'll take it over to my table here. Well, it's warm. Stayed on. The moss did a nice job of keeping the dirt out. Okay, it's a little warm. Looks like the mushrooms are cooked. Got the wild rice. That finished cooking up. You can see it's nice and flaky. I'm not going to eat the skin because I didn't scale the fish. Just want to try to get another piece for Kathy to try here. I do want to try it. As you can see how the skin has just fallen off it. Smells really good. Nice and flaky. I'll just put your piece right there. Okay. Might as well eat on the birch bark too. Yep. Okay, my piece should be cool off. Mm -hmm. Well, that turned out really nice, Kathy. Give it a try. Oh, that is awesome. Mmm. Wow. It's got really good flavor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's really good. I'll try the mushroom here. And we were able to cook all of this without having to use any pots or pans or oil or grease or So there, 
That's how you cook a fish underground in birch bark. Paper or the birch bark never started on fire. And there you go. Uh, we'll finish this. I hope you like my get the flies out of there. Even the flies want it. I uh, hope you like my video. Hope you share it with others. Uh, give it a try and uh, subscribe to our to my YouTube channel and join us on Facebook at All Things Wild. Look for the canoe on top of the page. Thanks for watching.